My name is Andreu Valius. I come from Barcelona and I'm a graphic and type designer. And my name is uh, Gerard Unger. I'm from the Netherlands, uh, which is way up north from here. For me, type design is some, something related with thinking about things and thinking about letters, not only designing shapes or designing uh, letters, type designs. If you want to put it very, very simply, it's the design of text. But immediately there comes so much more around it, not only from the content side, uh, what kind of text is it that you make the typography for that will hugely influence uh, what a typography will look like. Uh, but it's also all kinds of uh, cultural luggage, uh, any kind of historical influences, any kind of technical influences, any kind of influences from time, place, where you work, etc. Your personal aspects, all that. It's uh, through that it becomes a very rich uh, phenomenon but basically it's uh, tiny little black marks on paper that have to fulfill a very specific function to be read. In many cases you have no idea who, who your readers are going to be if you design a book. Uh, you may have a bit of a clue from the content what kind of audience the book is meant for but basically whether it's men, women, well-educated, less well-educated, uh, old, young, you have no idea. So, uh, as a typographer, you can never be too specific unless, say, you have to design books for partially sighted or for uh, dyslectic readers or things like that. But even then, to find appropriate answers is uh, immensely difficult. Uh, for me, also, typography is a way to convey sound in the way that if we take into account that letters are just a visual transcription from sound, letter shapes, so the typography, type designs, is also a, a way to convey sound and a way to give color to text and uh, a way to make sound be visible through yeah, the shape of letters. When you come into a different country, you can, you can see uh, cultural differences when you compare the products of, say, Spain, when I compare these with the uh, graphic products of my own country, the newspapers and magazines here look very different from the way we make them. And then I think it would be equally difficult for you to say what is so Dutch about Dutch design. It's, uh, it's all very abstract. I think it's important to get outside your own country, your, your outside your own uh, circle of knowledge, friends, uh, relationships, and to um, experience totally different environments and, and uh, different views of different colleagues. Type is meant to be read. Yeah, but think, think if you think in, in a logotype, for example, in a in a word, I think in a in a in a word more as an image that you have to read. But it's an image. It has to have its own sound, and uh, the shapes of letters, the characters, are going to influence the meaning yeah. of that image of that logotype, for yeah. example. Yeah. we should go into an experiment. Uh, hire a, uh, an actor and present him the same text set in different typefaces. Say, um, a poem set in Garamond and yeah. then the, the same typeface set in Rockwell. And first he has to read it in Garamond and then he has to read it in Rockwell, which is a much more heavy and clumsy typeface. Yeah. So what would that do to his reading, to his I think it would be different. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, oh, we can make the experiment, it's nice. A nice idea, yeah. I've never tried it before. Yeah. It just comes up in my mind and 